thing which we all need to very strictly be careful about is try to avoid getting getting involved in extra worldly activities and try to focus on the remembrance of Allah do as much dhikr do as much dhikr and remembrance of Allah as is possible because the companions asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we all fast we all fast in the month of ramadan who among us will be rewarded as the greatest of rewards prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the one who will make the maximum of remembrance of allah rabbi a'inni ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik so remembrance of allah will be in the form of recitation of quran in the offering of salah in the offering of all the supererogatory salah of ramadan and then in the form of the supplications of the morning and the evening is taught by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the supplications are the recitations after salah as have been taught by the manner of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then in all all our daily activities the the duas and the words taught by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam before sleeping before before we get up from bed before going to the washroom or before leaving our house entering our house or eating or drinking or whatever or dressing up or taking off our clothes so this will be this will be a continuous form of remembrance so from now today start getting into the habit of doing all that so by the time we get or we enter into the month of ramadan we are very much into the habit and we're going to make all our family members also get into the habit of reciting all these inshallah in this month and then other than that we're going to keep our tongue supple with the remembrance of allah i shall be talking about the zikr in uh, the sessions of surah an-nisa inshallah taala soon but then mentioning here other than all these forms of remembrance of allah throughout the fast we will be we will be busy doing all all the duties of allah and all the duties of as have been imposed on us for all the fellow beings but our tongue will be supple will be supple with the remembrance and praises of allah you may just keep on saying la ilaha illallah because this is the excellence this is the most excellent of zikr then we may just keep on saying subhanallah subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah al azim this is what this is this is the verse by which the angels praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i will be talking about the excellence of all of these inshallah in our in our sessions to come and then we may just keep on saying subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar these were the most loved loved words the four words the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved the most and then la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah these are the words which were gifted to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they were from beneath the throne of allah azza wa jal لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير so all these things we will be continuously reciting and our tongues will be supple with the names and with the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say again pray again rabbi a'inni ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik